it going everybody and welcome 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 back to another drag tune video today is a special 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 video because we just got anti-lag and launch control and i am super excited to show you guys the difference and uh what's been going on with them and i actually got a really really good tune here for you guys on the toyota supra with the anti-lag and the launch control and all that good stuff i'm gonna tell you why i did one thing and not the other i'm gonna tell you my reasons behind it and uh we're gonna test it out right now so like always everybody new to the channel hit the subscribe button and let's get right to it so we got the beautiful 98 supra rz edition and now we have the new anti-lag system that on turbo cars you can pretty much switch it from a being a normal turbo uh, like this and or adding the new anti-lag system and as you can see from the performance um little chart there you can see how big of a difference it does um, how much you gain on that boost and everything like that um, really 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 good smooth shifts you do have with that anti-lag and I'm actually super happy uh, for for them to uh, add it to add this into the game and uh, really really like how they're listening to the community so let's go right to the engine real quick first and firm foremost let's go right over here have the original engine this thing has almost 1600 horsepower uh, weighs 2,500 pounds with the original engine fully built. Uh, of course, the car is rear-wheel drive, and then we got the twin turbos. That's the only way of getting the anti-lag. Does not work on diesels or on the um, the superchargers, of course. Uh, besides that, we're just going to fully build the car here, and then we're going to put the anti-lag system, uh, which is just a different upgrade for the turbo there. And then, like that, you guys can listen to the engine, the difference between them. Uh, sounds really really good and also really really different so this is the uh, the normal and then now uh, this is with the anti-lag me personally I kind of wanted the flames to be a little bit bigger and kind of the flames kind of stay there a little longer but all in all, super, super nice. Love how dramatic and crazy sounds. And it uh, sounds really, really good. Love it, love it, love it. So you're going to add on that onto the car. And then after that, we're just going to fully build it. So we're going to put all these parts on here. Race, just like you guys see. Now let's go right over here to the suspension. Of course, we're going to do rally on the suspension. Uh, besides that, everything else is just going to be race. Uh, no roll cage, no need for that. And then the rest of the parts there. Now let's go right over here do the drivetrain everything is simply just going to be race very easy and simple there you go guys and then we're going to go right over here and then of course drag tires make sure to put those drag tires on there no width in the front and then full width in the rear at 345s in the back end there uh, making it really really nice and light any wheels you guys want got these speed line wheels on there super lightweight wheels on it and also looks pretty cool with a deep dish on it on um, the style of the wheels there and uh, no need for rim size, no need to make the rims any bigger or also spacers. No need to put these spacers on the car as well. Now let's go right over here. I did put the hood, take off the spoiler to reduce some weight on there. Um, and besides that, everything else is exactly the same. So I did put that hood on there and then the car is just red with the carbon fiber front end and the fenders and stuff like that. Looking really good, looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's go right to the tune, guys. So we got 55 in the front. 15 in the rear 1.70 to 63.30 to 100 and then we got 220 320 on that first gear second gear is going to be 235 third gear 175 135 105 and 0.85 so that's the gear ratio there for you guys so you guys can have it uh, zero everything out in seven 65 65 then we got 134 in the front and 169 in the rear so if you guys want to put these numbers on there go ahead uh, it doesn't have to be exact though remember it does not have to be exact everything uh, else is uh with the car raised all the way up to the sky and then we got 1.599 and 1.5 very easy and simple nothing with this or this and a hundred and zero the reason why this is 1.5 is because the car does wheelie it will wheelie for you um so to control that wheelie you will short shift that first gear um if you do hold on to that first gear it will wheelie even more on the car and you can kind of lose momentum on there so try to shore shift it just a slight bit there um, have that car go back down and then second third fourth you'll be all good to go so 
this is how you control it with this front right here a rebound the higher you go the more it does not willy um, so that's um, what you do there and that is it with the build and tune let's take it out for a little spin here um, also want to show you guys the difference between them um, I didn't make two different cars but pretty much my personal uh, feel for it the launch control I do not like the launch control not like it I, I honestly like the original launch control that I've been showing you guys for the past few videos or past uh, shoot, past year <laughs> um, I honestly kind of wish that you can control the launch control through different RPMs um, just don't like the way it performs let's take a look at this car though system sounds insane but yeah so did not like the launch control love the Yancy lag the um, I made what I did was make the same car three different times um, and then I used the car in three different ways to see which way was the best one was with anti lag and launch control the other was without launch control just anti lag and then the third tune was the original car with uh, with, without any lag or launch control so I saw that the launch control honestly was not good not effective um, what was causing some of the cars was just a sporadic launch on it and then it was just making me lose that momentum shift from first to second um, the way for me to control it I had to pretty much just shift from first to second really quickly or make that first gear very 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 long and it just caused it not to work properly. So the best launch is still this launch right here, guys. This has not changed. It's that 4K launch, as we call it. Um, to do this launch, is just e-brake, gas, and clutch. Um, if you want, you can tap on the clutch with this car while you press down the e-brake and gas, and then you'll get those flames popping out the back there. And you'll get it to 11 pounds of boost, 4,000 RPMs. Um, the settings though is going to be this here for the settings make sure to turn everything off be standard on that steering if you are in simulation you will spin manual with clutch and then you turn off the launch control turn it off no need for the launch control um, it will just make everything change that first gear make it super long no need for the launch control this 4k launch is still the way to go and now with a new anti lag system just makes it even better so e-brake gas clutch you can tap on the clutch after you have the e-brake gas pressed down <clears throat> and then now holding all three buttons down the e-brake the, gla the gas and the clutch and then you can get the car hold it right there at a higher rpm all i gotta do is let go of the clutch and e-brake and then if the car wheelies too much like you guys saw make sure to short shift it so that the car can go back down uh, the key is to not let it really so much by that controlling with the front rebound so if you can short shift it, it won't uh, it won't do it so much, okay? Or you can kind of let go of the gas just a slight bit. Um, but yeah, some people are just having issues with uh, this car that it doesn't really. Um, this car will be slight breeze. Love every shift after every shift. The flames come out the back end. It sounds really, really, really nice. Super, super, super aggressive with it. And I'm really, really impressed with it, uh, with the anti lag. The car shifts so smooth now with the anti lag. And honestly, just you guys see, nice little short shift. Um, what I did there was let go of the gas, and then down that the car kind of went down. You know, 223 there in the half a mile, 223. So I mean, this car is just so, so, so good with this anti lag system. And I love the way the plane keeps coming out of here. Look at that. Let it hold on a lot longer. But man, this thing just wants to go. It just wants to go so much. Love it, love it, love it. So let's do, let's, let me put back on the, the anti lag so you guys can take a look at the anti lag. Uh, first things first, let me show you guys the way it boosts up without the anti lag. So let's take a look here. Let's put down the telemetry here so we press this here this is just 2k launch this is what a 2k launch is just e-braking gas right it's negative on the boost if you do 
Um, now to do our normal standard launches, the 4K launches, e-brake, gas, and clutch. Now we're at 11 pounds of boost, 4,000 on the, on the RPMs, right? So that's that. Now let's put on the anti-lag, or not the anti-lag, the launch control. Let's put on the launch control there. And now let's take a look. Launch control is activated. A lot of pops and noises come back. But now you're in negative boost. You're actually in vacuum at 3600 RPMs. So this car honestly will like it to launch a little bit higher into the boost. Uh, but they specifically picked this launch for this car with these wheels and this pavement. That's what they said in Forza. Um, and honestly, look at the sporadic launch that it does. See how it kind of holds for like a split second? And then it just sporadically launches and then you just lose control. Car doesn't even willy. Really, um, so I don't honestly like it at all. The, yeah, so that's the new motive to take off the launch control. Leave the anti lag on there. Really, really nice. Love the way the car shifts with the anti lag. You can get some real nice quarter mile passes with it. Um, and also half a mile. Let's go here. They said that the uh, the new launch control system works on the drag events. So let's go here with the drag events. Let's see what happens with the Supra tuned, not for the drag event. <laughs> this is more of a street tuned car. Um, but let's see what it does here in the drag event. I'm going to just fully gas it, see what happens. And uh, look, I'm having a feeling it's going to just go sporadic on that first gear. Red line like crazy. I'm going to have to shift it a second and probably make my second gear bog so that's my theory um, because it's specifically not tuned for this it's not tuned for this so hopefully all in all um, you guys are experimenting with it seeing what's different uh, front wheel drive cars anti lag was really really nice really liked it on the front wheel drives and also on the all wheel drive cars was pros and cons it was like half and half between the, the all wheel drive cars um, but it looks like it works the uh, launch control for the front wheel drives and the all wheel drives front wheel both of them together launch control and anti lag together combined both work really good for those cars but rear wheel drive cars don't like it at all uh, but me personally I'll, I'll probably just use it only for the front wheel drives Let's see what happens here actually really good for the drag event um, I thought it was going to go even crazy on that first gear and actually hold on on first gear really really nice um, so yeah it looks like it's more designed for this here than it is for the actual outside street car moved really 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 good um, like the way it moved using the launch control system for the events so that was that was pretty good there um, you guys need to check it out need to test it out uh, make sure to do your updates because tomorrow everything is officially out. Um, which is going to be the map is officially out and the rally and all that good stuff. Um, now we got like wide body hits, these tunes. Uh, we got a couple of stuff uh, released today. So, yeah, all in all, really love the car. Hope you guys like it, subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see you guys around with another Dragon video. Peace out, everybody.